Hello beautiful friends, Rosalind Sansbury here. I've been guided to do a short share with you today to update and offer a short opportunity to connect inwards, to connect into your heart, to connect into your spirit and to receive vibrational frequencies to assist in allowing yourself to receive the vibrational frequency of unconditional love. Now, for some of you who have been experiencing the work I've shared over the years, you may already have experienced this new element of my work that's incorporated in my one-on-one -on -one sessions and my group gatherings. But I've been nudged, encouraged, energetically, to share more openly outside of that with these vibrational frequencies that are anchored in love, hence the name of my page, Awakening Humanity's Heart. These vibrational frequencies are to assist with that. And the there has been some reluctance on my part because for those who have known me for many years, family and friends, who may have some understanding of the work I do, assisting people to facilitate and hold the space for their healing and expansion, that it would be very left field for them. However, it is really important for me to step away from any concern around anyone, anyone else's perception of what I do, who I am, and why I'm here and own it for me and for humanity. The key for us all at this time that is at times very overwhelming for many, 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 many people, most people, is to connect into our heart to find peace to find balance and not get caught up in the frenetic energy that's happening externally. Now the elements that are different to how I may have delivered before on this platform to everybody is two years ago in meditation and connecting into my heart and to the divine field. Sacred language, light language began streaming through and also what I've been guided is heart song. And for many people, this is a very strange, unusual thing and I have to say it was a curved ball because I knew that it's the purpose of me being here sharing on this planet in my beingness is to assist in people's opening of their heart, to assist to transform pain and suffering, old story, programs, beliefs, that aren't the truth of who they are. And I've been on that journey myself personally, which is why I'm doing what I'm doing, because it's first-hand experience. So the language is soul language that you understand on a deep level. And I've asked many questions on this journey around, around the light language, around the 
heart song about its purpose why is it not in a way that most people can understand and translate in their minds and it's exactly that reason why it's not the reason the language is not in English the language I normally speak is because the mind gets in the way of the full understanding, the programs, the beliefs, the fears, the stories we tell us ourselves about ourselves gets in the way. The light language is language that you're, you're on a deep level, your soul certainly understands and knows it. And through the experience of it, we often feel it and know it and it's like we may even, and I've witnessed this with people I've worked with, I'll be talking in language and they'll be nodding in knowing what it is, but they couldn't tell you intellectually what it is, but they feel it and know it in here. And the heart song, its specific purpose, and it's not a song in the normal sense of the word, it's not, it's not me sing a, singing a melodic song <laughs> with words, what heart song is a vibrational frequency of sound that streams through me to assist in the healing of stuck energy in the heart that prevents us from loving unconditionally whether it's for ourselves or whether it's to give unconditional love to others because when we block our heart from giving and receiving love unconditionally we are limit limiting the full expression of who we are and given the human experiences it's not surprising that occurs so the heart song is a vibrational frequency of unconditional love that is toned and sounded in whatever is needed. And although you hear the same vibrational frequency of the song, because none of our energetic systems are exactly the same, you may well experience it differently. For some people, it does evoke emotion to be released. And they cry and again I've witnessed this with one-on-one -on -one sessions and in group sessions where that occurs and what I want to reassure you is crying is a powerful release of emotion that's been stored and in that release it enables the heart to open further so if you feel comfortable to Take this short journey as I guide you inwards to your heart to connect to the essence of your being and allow yourself to receive in this short meditation whatever frequencies channel through my energy system for you for the planet because have no doubt we are all connected everything and it's with great love that I share with you now so if you'd like to find yourself a quiet space for the next 10 minutes maybe I'm really not sure how long this will flow for because I just allow myself to be the vehicle of these vibrational frequencies to flow through me. So I'll probably leave a little note on how long this video is at the beginning, so you will know <laughs> if you read the blurb above. So make sure you're not gonna be disturbed for a little while. Switch off your phone and find a place you can be comfortable to sit or lie down 
to just be and to receive. And it's in the receiving we give and in the giving we receive. It's a perpetual flow of energy. So getting yourselves comfortable now and just if you're sitting down, have your feet flat on the floor and just relax your hands and arms in your lap and close your eyes over lightly. And just in this stillness, this peace, just be aware and conscious of your breath. Just observing its rise and its fall. Your beautiful breath is a powerful gift, more than you can imagine. This breath oxygenates your body without any conscious thought from you. The divine intelligence within you knows exactly what to do. Your breath is a powerful indicator. of how relaxed or not you are. Your breath, when there's awareness, you can utilize consciously to help reset tension within your body, which then enables your blood to flow more freely and easily exactly where it needs to go. So in this peacefulness now, just in your mind, express gratitude for the gift of your breath. And because of your breath, all the incredible things you are able to experience on this physical planet Earth that without your breath, you wouldn't experience. As you consciously now, focus on your next breath, that you are gonna breathe in through your nostrils, deep into your body, and as you fully breathe in, just for a few moments, just hold the breath still for a moment. Just hold it there. And very slowly exhale through a slightly open mouth. Just letting the breath go, slowly. So you're breathing in more quickly than your out breath. So a deep breath in again, in through the nose. And just hold the breath there for a moment. And then slowly exhale through a slightly open mouth, just letting the breath go. And notice your body softening with every breath. Another deep breath in through the nostrils and holding the breath for a moment before very slowly releasing the breath through an open mouth and just feel the calm in that, feel the peace in that, feel the letting go in that. Now, whether we're aware of it or not, we are so much more than our physical body. And when we are in our head, in our physical body, in that place of chaotic thought, 
if not all thought is chaotic. But the thinking mind, we often get caught up in stories, untruths about ourselves in this thought. And it's quite hard to let that go. There's a very simple technique that may be helpful for you. And at those times when your head is all over the show and you're thinking, a simple way to help with that is to connect in to the center of your chest, into your heart center. So just with two fingers, just very, very gently, just gently tap in the center of your chest, into your heart center. And take a deep breath into your body as you do so. And slowly release the breath. The focus is where the touch is. And the touch is at the heart centre. And do that one more time. Just breathing in and gently tapping in the centre of your heart space. releasing the breath and if you feel like continually gently tapping please do so listen to your inner wisdom you may feel the need to just stop the tapping and just hold the fingers there or place your hand on your heart again listen to that inner wisdom from you Now within you, within us all, is an aspect of ourself that's infinite, that's pure light, pure consciousness, pure awareness. Just imagine in that center point where you tap. where your hand may still be is a star of energy pure consciousness, pure awareness, pure love and just imagine that as you breathe this light within you expands becomes brighter and brighter in your mind's eye and as it does, your physical body becomes lighter and lighter still. And this light is pure love, your pure essence of being. It connects deeply to your soul. Your soul knows you. Your soul loves you. Your soul values you. Your soul knows that you're connected to this infinite field of energy, of vibrational frequency. It knows your magnificence. It knows that you're not the story you tell yourself around any inadequacies and any failings. It sees all of you, never judges, just loves. And just feel that lightness as this light within you becomes brighter and brighter and brighter. And in this awareness and this peace, It feels 
you feel the connectedness to everything, to all things. And there's a peacefulness in this expansion, so strong. And it feels like you're being held in a sea of love. journey on the physical realm there have been energetic blocks created within you and within your mind that aren't the truth of who you are that have inhibited your ability to give yourself unconditional love because of the judgments. That have limited your capacity to give unconditional love. Or receive unconditional love from others. Just in your mind now and in your heart, just set an intention of being willing and ready to allow yourself to receive unconditional love and that it's safe for you to do so because unconditional love is pure it sees you in your beingness it knows who you are and loves you te kumana katane hi ata e kuhala ne hi kuhala ne te E ko hala ne he a mana tua he ko hala ne. E ko tua ne he a na hane yo ko hala ne te. He hala ne i ko hala te.
sanaktea dianamane hikohanate hikohanate atuhate hikanamane hea tuanenea nehea teana teka hikohalenea hikohal hisona hea vibrational energies to assimilate within you and you feel the lightness within you and know that you are enough know that you are valued Know that you are important. Know that you are meant to be here at this time. At this evolution and awakening of humanity's heart. To live through that wisdom of the heart. Of unconditional love. Of compassion and kindness and joy and freedom and that you have purpose and that you can connect to your heart's wisdom at any time And that it's safe to be all of who you are. To be the magnificent being you came to be. As you've taken a deep breath into your body, just gently tap in the centre of your chest your heart center. Just gently check that connection and remind yourself that love lives here. 
always. As you take in another deep breath, you start to become aware of your physical body. So whether you're lying down or sitting on a chair, there's an awareness of where you are physically. You take another breath and take your focus to your feet and just start to wiggle them and move your ankles. And gently move in your legs. So take another breath and just start moving your hands, your fingers. You may feel like shaking them out to really connect to your physical body. Gently shrugging your shoulders or moving your head slowly from side to side. Another breath and just listen to what your body's telling you to do to fully awaken it back into being fully into your body. If you need to stretch, stretch your body. So you take one more breath consciously. Open your eyes when you're ready and just allow yourself to just fill your face with a smile of light. And just appreciate the stillness you're now feeling as you are fully opened your eyes now and completely aware of your physical surroundings. You may feel a bit floaty, a bit light. Give yourself some time to gently fully get into physical activities, maybe have a drink of water. If you have crystals, some people tend to hold a crystal to help them come back in their physical, a grounding crystal. Just take your time. And if you can, just go outside in the garden and breathe in the air and look at the sky. And connect to your heart here. Thank you everybody for taking the time to go on that inner journey and for going with me on my journey to be all of who I am and all I came here to be. And like you all, I'm a work in progress too. I'm still growing into that. But just know how important you are. Thank you. Till the next time. Namaste.